Have you ever had your purse or your wallet stolen? I have, and that's why we invited our next guest. It turned my world upside down when I got to my car in January after yoga, saw my window was completely smashed in, and my purse was gone. Oh, so what would you do if it happened to you, and how can you protect yourself? Karen Stiles is the director of Call for Action here at today's TMJ4, and Detective Lisa Hudson is wearing a gun, and she is with <laughs> the Wauwatosa Police Department. So whatever she says... Do it. We're going to do it. I love it. See, and this that is doesn't work when I tell you to pay the bill when we go to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Try it next time. See what happens. No, but honestly, the, one of the things we're going to talk about is what is the first thing you should do if your purse or your wallet is stolen. The first mm -hmm. thing I did is call my friend who's a police detective. Is that the right thing? No. Should you call police first? <laughs> no, because I wasn't even working for the city that it was stolen in. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So well, I know that. But what is, what is the first thing someone should do if this horrible thing happens? I would say not, not to call the police. Everybody thinks, oh, I need to call the police right away. But you, you need to call the credit card companies because the first thing that these people are going to be doing is they're going to use your credit card. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe how quickly they can use your credit card because you told me that when we were on the phone. I called the two major credit card companies as well as my bank because I had a debit card. Every single card was used multiple times by the time I was able to get through to the fraud department and give them my information. So right. a matter but of minutes, you think? Um, well, until they can get to a store. Yeah. And they don't, you know, the, and, and if you call the police, they're just writing the report for mm -hmm. your, in, um, your credit card companies because they're going to need some type of tracking to say, yes, it was stolen mm -hmm. so that your purchases are covered. Yeah. So first and foremost, call call that. Uh, you get a lot of calls here at today's TMJ4 at Call for Action of we people sure who are experiencing this. Is it more so they can help kind of track down the person that's doing it, or is it more for helpful information about what to do when it happens? For us, it's what do I do now? Okay. This has happened and I'm missing it. Now what kind of risk am I at? Mm -hmm. And so it's more than just, you know, people are going and using your credit cards at places to take all your money, so to speak, and charge things up. You also have to be careful about, did you have personal information in there, like a social security number that not only can be used to steal your identity, but it can be used to file fraudulent tax returns to um, possibly use it for health insurance claims, lots of things like that. So you really have to be careful. Well, those are some of the new identity theft problems mm -hmm. that you've kind of mentioned to us is medical ID and tax ID, as you yes. uh, kind of alluded to right there. So people really need to be careful. And that's specifically taken off your social security number? Yes. Once they have that social security number, there's an awful lot they can do with that. Mm -hmm. So uh, you want to be really careful with that to make sure that you are monitoring everything like crazy, that you're reporting it to as many places as possible, credit bureaus, social security, uh, your employer, different places where that number is going to be used so mm -hmm. that somebody can't use it. Not only call your social security administration, that they will just send you a new card, but you also have, have to contact the, the um, IRS identity protection because mm -hmm. then that will track everything and keep your identity safe. Hmm. Yeah, and they put, like even with your driver's license, because my driver's license was in there, they can put a little notation on your driver's license and other information mm -hmm. that you've been the victim of fraud. So they're a little bit more careful when people go to try to, to you know, get a new card or something. Do you guys both get why it's so traumatic to have your purse stolen? Oh, your whole life is in your purse. Your <laughs> phone is, I mean, especially if your phone is in there, your right. car keys, your house keys, you have to start all over again. And, and I have my calendar, my mm -hmm. kids' doctor's appointments, everything in that phone. Yep. And then and if you have all of your credit card information in your phone just in case, and it's in your purse, then you have nothing. Yeah. But a, a big thing is when you do get your purse stolen, you know, you have to go and look in the vicinity of where it's stolen. Um, they don't want any type of ID on them if mm. they would if they do get stopped. Mm -hmm. So if you're, you could look in the bushes, like where your purse was stolen. I told you go and look around the area in the bushes in any garbage cans in the area get rid of it. because they're taking the wallet, getting rid of the purse. Except in your case, your purse was a little more expensive than. Well, and they <laughs> dumped my school calendar, but not my. If they had just dumped my personal lipstick. calendar no, yes and your, per <laughs> your your favorite lipstick I mean let's be honest I mean there's some things that you use constantly that are in your purse that are so hard to replace and, and then you have to remember everything so you can report it but to it's insurance. obvious you haven't gotten over this because you've asked me to come back <laughs>
<laughs> exactly. It's so true. Okay, here's, here's a question I have because a lot of people say, well, take photographs of everything in your purse. But a lot of yeah. us will keep those photographs on our cell phone. So what do we do to make sure that if it's stolen, we know what was in there, what's protected? Is it, is it photographs? Is that a part of it? You can take pictures, but what I would recommend, in fact, we've got a brochure. We use a call for action that's called a smart way to pay. Hold that up a little higher. Sure. Yeah. But inside of this, okay. there is actually a place where you can actually record your phone numbers uh, uh, to call the credit card companies yeah. oh, that's um, nice. and remind you of everything that you've got in that wallet. That would have helped me if I'd had some. I need one of those. To do the, yeah. make the calls a little bit faster. How do people get that? They can contact our Call for Action office mm -hmm. at 414-967-5495. And you send also, it out? Mm -hmm. okay. We'll send that out to them. We also have um, an identity theft brochure that we use. Mm -hmm. The identity theft brochure is a really good place of to start with what do I do now? What are the phone numbers for the credit reporting agencies and so forth to really get you going? Does this come down to just not leaving our purse in the car? You know, or is this, you know, even just getting it stolen right off you as a person, too? Well, if you get it stolen right off you, there's really not yeah. much you can do. Let it go, right? Right, and I, I walk out of a store, and I was, I was funny, I was walking with my daughter, and I'm constantly looking around, and she's, I, who are you looking for? I'm like, I just want to be vigilant of where I'm at mm -hmm. and my surroundings because the more you are, the more you're looking, the, the more you don't leave your purse in your shopping cart at the grocery store. I've been stopped yeah. for that. Mm -hmm. yeah. The better of a, you know, you're not going to be a victim then. Well, mm -hmm. and I think you have to be, and you guys have both advised this, to be careful of all the things that you carry in your purse. Right. You should be right. cleaning it out regularly and really only carry the things you need for that day. Because if you're carrying multiple checkbooks and all your credit cards and debit cards and license and social security card, right. that's one important thing right. I think to leave out. Right. Leave Especially home. your kids Absolutely. also. Yes. Yeah. And if you get it stolen, don't post it on social media, correct? Right, because uh, when your wallet or your purse is stolen, they're saying, oh, well, let's see if this person has a Facebook account. They can get so much more information from you. In fact, even your passwords, like your cell phone, make sure that's passworded. But be careful what you use for a password, because if they get onto your Facebook page and they see that you have a daughter named Anna, then they may say, oh, I'll bet that password has something to do with Anna. So mm -hmm. be very careful Point. about having safe passwords also. Really and when you cancel great. your credit card, don't cancel your credit cards. Just put a, put a freeze alert on them, um, a credit freeze or a fraud mm -hmm. alert, because if you have any type of points or um, like with Discover where you can mm -hmm. accumulate money, uh, you don't want all of that to just go away. They will just issue a new card, but keep your account in good standing. You guys are great. That's a, done that. Thank that's you a good so point. much, you guys. The, the credit freeze is something you do with the credit bureaus. It right. does cost you some money, but it can really help you. Here's good the stuff. call for action number again. It's 414-967-5495. Thanks so much, you guys. Great You're to welcome. see you guys. Great Thank info. you.